Hi, I'm Rob Aikens. I am the Director of the Professional Development Corps for the Delaware CTR, uh, and I, I help lead the research development program for the Delaware INBRI. And today I'm going to talk about specific games pages, and in, in particular uh, about topics or areas that should be covered in specific games pages. Uh, this is um, a checklist, which I'm sharing with you now, which was digested from a bunch of other information, including some research that was done at Northwestern. I'll show you here, oh, I think over a decade ago now, uh, Rick McGee is the professor there, and the program they had is called the CLIMB program, I forget what the acronym stands for, but they actually went through a rhetorical analysis of specific AIMS pages and pulled out the common features. Um, and in, you know, for folks that review these things a lot, a lot of this makes sense, but it was, for this kind of analysis, it was sort of you, you knew a good page when you saw it and you wouldn't necessarily be able to put your finger on well, what is it that's missing from a particular AIMS page. So you can go look at these, the examples they have um, are a little bit older, uh, but this analysis still stands. Okay, so what we did, uh, myself and a few others, we took that information plus experience from a number of different reviewers, um, and it's just called Rob's Checklist. And typically, I give this out to people who are helping review, um, but and also people who are, are putting their specific games pages together. And all it really is, so for reviewers who are helping me kind of judge these specific games pages and get feedback to people, I just want them to go down and make sure that you can answer these questions. If you're reviewing my AIMS page, be able to tell me after you read it, what's the big picture? What's, you know, what's the context of what we're trying to do, which feeds into the impact? So one of the, and I am happy to share this, this is available in many different places. I recommend, I mean, people can go look at the actual analysis, especially if they're into that kind of rhetorical um, type of, of data analysis. Um, but I, and I suggest people think about this as they're putting their AIMS pages together. So the one that has caused some questions, and maybe this has always been the case, and I just didn't occur to me um, take you a specific time to explain this, is this one, which is why this PI. So in Rick's original, that idea is actually, in this representation of it anyway, is split into two. So there's always, or not always, but most of the time, there's some statements of the statement of the research contribution of the PI or the team that's applying, and that's done in the context of the current application, right? So it's not your research contribution generally, it's your contribution in this area. Uh, and then further down, this, which is a much, in this example is much bigger, is the qualifications rest. But really what that digests down to is you communicating to the reviewer why you can do this. Uh, and it is one of the key things that's sort of a, a, really a hidden trick, but that most successful AIMS pages have. There's an understanding after reading it of how this fits in with your research, if you're the applicant, and why the, you know, the investor, the, the reviewer, should really get behind getting you. The so this why, why this PI uh, is really about that, uh, and making sure that you know, especially if you're putting together an AIMS page for the first time, that you include some statement along those lines. Oh, shoot, I don't know if I have, oh, I didn't open it. Hey, Aaron, can you, while I'm continuing to talk, can you pull up the, uh, the ones I emailed to you? So what I, I did recently was pull examples of specific AIMS pages from the NIH website. So they give examples of R01 AIMS pages from successful grants that the, that the PIs had agreed can be posted. And then I took one of mine and I just highlighted the places where this was addressed. And it, it doesn't have to be long, it can be one sentence. And it can be, depending on what you're planning to do, it can be an explanation of the team and how things are gonna work and sort of um, how your ability to execute this project will be impacted. Did you find it, Aaron? Can you guys see it? I'm sharing my screen. Are you sharing now? Yeah. I got to get on the right page. Okay. So what I did. So this is this is my this is one of my specific games pages. So in this context, and I am happy to do this if people want to want to see kind of highlight it out where each of the different things is represented. They're not always in the order that's on the checklist, 
I try to always put them in. Um, and you can you can think of this when fellows in the lab um, accuses me of these Jedi mind tricks when I'm trying to help her do better. Um, but this is sort of a Jedi mind trick on the reviewers. We just want to get this information into there. So in this particular case, all I really said is we study this stuff, and these are some of the things that we find we found. And in this case, for this study section, we have the the references are listed uh, on the Ames page. That's not always uh, common practice, depending on what uh, study section you go to. Do you want to scroll down to another one? You'll you'll also notice as Aaron's going through, there's a lot of images, tables, and you know, sort of visuals included in specific games pages. Uh, so this person was a little more blunt. We have published 20 papers from the first grant, trying to get another grant, demonstrating the importance, right? So they're, they're really bludgeoning the, the reviewer um, that you should fund us. We're the ones to do this. Keep going. All right, here's another one. Um, so this is much more subtle. This hypothesis is based on a synthesis of our own and others' published work. So I don't, I don't remember exactly what else is in here, but sometimes you have to be very economical with your phrasing um, and decide, well, how much do you really need to say? Um, and if you're a junior person, you may want to commit a little bit more space to this, right? Uh, we have recently demonstrated. So this is a sort of a synthesis of those two ideas that Rick uh, pointed out, kind of the contribution um, and then the qualifications of the person. And this is sort of what I tend to see in reviewing Ames pages, where the reviewer is told at the same time, um, this is these are our results that lead to our rationalization for doing the study. And because of the way it's worded, it makes it very clear that we we contributed, you know, the, the team that's applying, we contributed this work and we can do this kind of work. This one I had to underline because it was it was scanned in. Right, similar kind of thing, our studies and others have demonstrated and a little further on, they go specifically into what uh, was demonstrated, but using first person language so that it's clear, um, you, know, you can think, you can envision wording this statement demonstrated in a way that just refers to the papers, right? It is known that without pointing out that this is work done by yourself. So is there, are there more, was that all seven? No, it's one more. So just these, there were six uh, um, examples of specific games pages on the on NIH's website. So I pulled those and threw one. So there's seven examples here, um, and they, these all these games pages led to R ones. So you are welcome to take a look. So you notice I can't count. <laughs> um, uh, and just different strategies. You know, how many things do you want to say? Do you want to enumerate them? Or is this, are these pieces of information that the reviewer, you would like the reviewer to remember as they're reading the rest? Um, but there's, so there's different ways to approach that idea, why this PI? But it is highly recommended. Um, it, you know, it's based on sort of an assessment of what makes a, a really successful specific games page. And I don't think the instructions really say, make sure you include this. But um, it's a good idea to do it. And, and I think the folks who are doing the NIH Academy, if any of them are on the phone, got the same advice about that. Hey, Heather. That's Heather's part of my recording. <laughs> All right, so that, that is what I wanted to present for today. Um, so